for embryonic stem cell research. And my policy did this in ways that would not encourage the destruction of embryos. Since then, my administration has made more than $130 million available for research on stem cell lines derived from embryos that had already been destroyed. We provided more than $3 billion for research on all forms of stem cells, including those from adult and other non-embryonic sources. Uh, if you study uh, embryology, uh, you learn that uh, the new individual uh, is, gets two sets of chromosomes, one from an egg cell, one from a stem cell, and comes together in a first cell called a zygote. Uh, my name is Mike, and I'm a youth minister at Calvary Chapel in Boca Raton. I can tell you what my view is, and um, I think it would be the same as my church and most Christians, and that is uh, as far as embryonic stem cell research. Um, obviously, I'm not for that. I believe that the taking of a human life for any medical research would certainly be against scripture. Uh, as far as adult stem, stem cell research, I believe that as long as we can make progress in that direction, I think I would definitely support that. So palsy is brain damage, mm. a way to speak, and it affects his like growth. You know, he can't talk, walk, uh, sit, stuff like that. He would have eight to five seizures a day, every day. Since we did the first treatment, his seizures stopped after a week um, that we did the treatment. He wouldn't have any head control. Um, he was like in space. He never looked at anything. He was just there. The process is very fast. Um, it's a little incision right here under the belly button, two little incisions, and we actually put a um, piece of placenta into the tissues. After the surgery, we started seeing um, the seizure stopped completely. And then he started having more head control. He looks at everything now. He's talking a lot. <laughs> He's just trying. He's trying very hard. A lot of people think that um, you have to kill a baby to get stem cells, and that's not true. We're actually getting stem cells from a birth, from a life. So it's a life is saving another life, like William's, because now he does have a future which before I don't think he did, not having eight seizures a day. People will often say to Christians, well, you know, as far as you're concerned, you know, people should lay down their life for another, but that's a willing commitment. That's a willing desire that somebody has. If I give my life for somebody else, it's a decision I make. But to take that from an unborn human, it's not their decision. I disagree with that. The Bible also tells us in Genesis and in the book of Ezekiel that God demands a life from us. He says if we take a life, he holds us accountable for that life. And he says that all souls belong to him. So it's not up to us what we do with somebody else's life when it comes to taking it or keeping it. We have a responsibility to God in that matter.